I've got with me today the president of North American Nickel, Dr. Mark Fedico. North American Nickel trades on the venture under the symbol NAN, and its primary focus right now is uh, going to be the Manit Soak, 100% owned Manit Soak Nickel Copper Cobalt PGM project in Southwest Greenland. Mark, I appreciate you taking some time out of your busy, busy schedule to uh, to share your opportunity. Thanks, Rob. My pleasure. So uh, I want to dig into this uh, drill program, but uh, but I want to kind of back up and and once you bring me up to speed and uh, on kind of how the last few years have shaped up for you guys and uh, and what's brought you to this point and maybe talk about the, the management team over there. Sure, Rob. Uh, the way this has unfolded is uh, uh, VMS Ventures, uh, uh, basically a copper zinc base metal massive sulfide type explorer, had in its portfolio of properties uh, Sudbury Basin nickel properties and <clears throat> these properties were not returning any value to VMS and so a decision was made to spin out North American nickel based on the Sudbury Basin properties. That happened uh, with a uh, 43101 listing a report by Dr. Walter Paradary uh, in May 11, 2011 we became listed on the TSX Venture Exchange and shortly thereafter uh, Two very well-known and experienced geologists brought to us the Manitsoc project in uh, southwest Greenland. Uh, we took our time, did our due diligence, looked at the project like what we saw, and acquired initially a 5,000 square kilometer uh, property, largest to that point in Greenland that had ever been uh, established. And since that time, we have been uh, delineating, uh, doing our exploration uh, flying our airborne geophysics, diamond drilling, ground geophysics, mapping, prospecting, the whole nine yards uh, to get, bring us to the point where we have now 2,985 square kilometer property with uh, some highly prospective mineralized zones which we are, we are drilling as we speak. Yeah, as we uh, talk about that, why don't, you, why don't you dig into the meat and potatoes of this? Uh, looks like you've got a couple rigs, uh, 11,000 meters. Yeah, that's exactly right. We have, uh, the, as you say, two rigs drilling about 11,000 meters. We're probably going to bring a third rig to site in July. And, of course, accompanying the drilling, we're, uh, we do downhole, uh, borehole EM surveys on every hole. Uh, accompanying that now is a, a new approach that we're using and finding very, very useful, and that is um, IP, induced polarization surveys. Those assist us with actually mapping the distribution of sulfides, and that ties in nicely with our geological mapping and prospecting. So it is a multifaceted program that we always try and launch. We do uh, structural geological studies assisted by SRK Consulting, and we always are building and refining our 3D model, which guides our exploration. So everything feeds into our 3D model, which then is tested with our diamond drilling and borehole geophysics. So uh, investors always like uh, news, Mark. I want you uh, want to kind of give us a little crystal ball into news flow here uh, coming throughout the summer. Yes, we're expecting a, a steady flow of, of information. Uh, we will we will be reporting on the status of the exploration project as we move through our our program. We have defined three main areas of drilling interest this year, and the news flow will address the results. Of course, our assay results. There is always a delay as we. Uh, uh, wait for our numbers, assay numbers to come back from the lab. But those, again, tend to come in a little bit later in the uh, season, uh, but those will make up uh, a good portion of our uh, news release flow when we get our hands on those numbers. On the business side, uh, why don't you catch uh, investors up on the, the treasury and the, and the share count? Sure. We're, um, we have a, a healthy uh, treasury at this point, around $11 million dollars. Uh, we um, we have um, oh well we're fully diluted at 703 million and we have issued an outstanding 513 million and change. Uh, we're trading right now around seven seven and a half cents with about a 40 million dollar market cap, and um, we are very fortunate to have strong cornerstone institutional investors. These are the Sentient Group, who's been with us since day one and is on board for the long haul, as well as Duke University. So uh, we're backed by um, uh, some significant uh, financial uh, uh, investors, and uh, it's a good thing. And we're, um, we're just looking forward to seeing what our drills tell us this year after 
well, this is year six uh, of our exploration program in Greenland. Well, we'll certainly look uh, forward to your progress. Uh, Dr. Mark Vatico, appreciate your time, and thanks for the update. My pleasure. Anytime, Rob.